bum 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 Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Amy. And, and this is the AA meeting. meeting. Oh no, oh, there goes the start. sign. Um, if you guys are on the visuals, we've got a new a new couch. Yeah. Um, the black chairs are no longer. Yes. Um, not because we were planning on upgrades, just because I got a couch. Um, and this seems easier than like moving into yeah. the spare room every time we want to record yeah. an episode. So, and it's much more comfortable. I feel very you. close to you. We don't normally sit this close know, to each it's other. A bit sus. It's I was just cute. thinking, should I get rid of this? No, that's the cute. Set or it's okay. Okay. Um, yes, we're on a, a grey ch- couch that I got for fifty bucks from Facebook Marketplace, but it doesn't look like a fifty dollar couch. I feel like no, it look it looks a bit bougie. It's um, it's priceless. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, do you anyway, give her a good clean? Yeah, well, like not a good one, but <laughs> a clean. Um, but we like get when one of those like vacuum yeah. things. Or I saw. I was looking on TikTok and I saw this like hack where you. Um, oh, the pot lid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do that. I think. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't think that she'd had it for very long. It was literally this chick like trying to get rid of it because well, she said it was her housemate's couch and he left it there. And so she wanted to sell it, but I got the sense that uh, it was her ex boyfriend's couch, right? Um, and she wanted to be gone of it. Yes. Anyway, um, it's been a long time since we recorded. Yes, it has. Feeling a bit rusty. Yeah. Well, actually, how many weeks has it been? No, it's probably been about a month. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. For you guys, you won't have noticed at all because we um, are not allowed to talk about the fact that we've been pre-recording. But yes. like, if we were allowed to talk about it, then that's what it would be. Yeah. Um. Because this is coming out around early to mid August, this year. Yes. So Abby will be well and truly in Europe. Yeah. In fact, you'll be like more than halfway through the trip. Yeah, I'll be almost on my way home. Yeah. Um, which is crazy to think you guys are listening to this and Abby's in Europe, but like we're just sitting on our couch right now. I know. Isn't time weird? Um, anyway, we haven't rolled the intro, so maybe we should do that before we get into all that business. Yes, I think so. <gasps> Roll the. Oh, fuck, sorry. We whisper. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of practice. <laughs> Roll the intro. This is the AA meeting. Welcome to our podcast. I said the. Yeah, so um, it's mid-August. What's mm. been happening? Is it getting warmer? I hope so. I hope so too. For your sake. Yeah. Um, yeah, we hope you're all well and thanks for tuning in to another episode with us. This is episode 132. Mm-hmm. We didn't do any of that in the beginning, no. but that's all right. Clearly out of practice. Yeah. So um, how's your time been? <laughs> yeah, all right. I, like, I can't quite remember exactly like what what had happened and what hadn't happened by the time, like when we last recorded. But, yeah. But... Um, yeah, not much to announce. Um, I'm just back at uni. I didn't really have a break. Um, and ticking along. Mm. Um, what about you? Any major life changes in the last... Not really. We sound so boring. Yeah. I've had some, like, nights out. Mm-hmm. I've been, I've been, on, the, I've been on the drinks a bit. Mm-hmm. Um... And I was severely hungover last week. Just I didn't rock up to my you. shift at work. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been pretty chill. Yeah. We went out to dinner on the weekend Yeah. with the girls because I think that's the last time we're all going to see each other before Yaz and I go off to yeah. Europe. Um, and that was cute. Yeah, it's just so crazy. That, like, I mean, we hadn't seen Kirby since my birthday in February. Yeah. Um, and then like I hadn't seen Yaz since we moved. Like, it's just, like, so weird to think, like, this morning I was thinking about how, like, when we first all moved in together and it was, like, like, party central and we'd throw these, like, massive rages and, yeah. like, you know, and, like, we would just, like, be in each other's rooms all the time and, yeah, and now it's, like, we have to book two months in advance to see each other. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? And we literally did, like, I remember when we booked that in, it was, like, that was the only night that all four of us were yeah, free yeah. for the foreseeable future, which is just wild. I know. It's a bit um, rude. But it was good. We went to Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers in Newtown. Yes. Um, and the food was delish. Delish. The limoncellos were delish. They were all right. You didn't like them? I thought it was quite nice. I'm just not a Aperol. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not a spritz lady. Yeah, not spritzy. That's fair. 
Um, I want to like it. Mm. It was better when I squeezed the actual lemon in it. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like the bitterness. I don't know. what What is the bitterness? I have no idea what's in limoncello. I know like for an Aperol spritz, the actual Aperol is really bitter. Yeah. Um, Aperol spritz is one. Of, I think I've said this on the podcast before. That They're one of those things that like everyone pretends to like. Yeah. You no know? one actually likes it. And like I'll make them too. I've got all the ingredients here. But yeah. like I don't really like them. I just yeah. make it because it, it seems like something that I should do. You know? Yeah. Um, anyway, but you were talking about um, Italian Aperol spritzes at dinner and about how apparently they're really shit. Apparently they are. It's devastating. But I might, I reckon the limoncello spritz will be yeah. great because lemons are like Italy, yeah. you know? And that's, limoncello is like, the th- I mean, Aperol spritz I think is from Italy too. But like when I think of limoncello, I think of Italy. Yeah. I hadn't actually had one before, so I don't really know what to Yeah, me neither. To, so I'll, I'll let you guys know what the, please do what it's like over there. And can you also like, just as a favor to me. Um, like take photos of all the really good food that you eat. Yeah, I, w- I will for sure. Because I really just, that's the part that I think I'm going to be most jealous about. That and if you could do a vlog inside European Zara, I would appreciate that very much. Oh, I'm keen for the shopping. Yeah, I literally said to Abby the other day, like, because I always see on TikTok people doing Zara hauls and it's like yes. such nice stuff. And then I go to look it up and it's only available in Europe. Yes. So like maybe I'll have to send a shopping list over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have space no, to pack true. it. Anyway, um... Yes, very exciting. Looking yeah. Forward to it. Are you a bit nervous or are you just excited? No, I'm not nervous. I just like want to already be there because yeah. like I see all these TikToks where everyone's already there and yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm missing out. But like. Yeah. That was the other thing too. In Newtown the other night, Saturday night, we're walking it was along. dead. Dead. I understand that it's like cold, but like. No, it's because there's no one here. Everyone's in Europe. And then everyone who's not in Europe is like trying to like go somewhere else you know yeah, to like or, all their friends the, are in europe the holiday void yeah 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 it was nuts it felt like a tuesday night like there was mm. no one there splendor soon yes yeah we we're talking about that this morning actually um do you know anyone who's going nope no we like when i first saw the lineup i was like oh my god i have to go but then like like i think there's that initial like excitement I reckon there's gonna be know. no one there no literally because well, i mean everyone will be in europe for one thing but like all the bands that I would want to see, I've either seen before, I know that they play every second festival, so I will yeah. see them again, or the only person I was genuinely, like, so excited about was Sam Fender, but, like, I could just see him do a show on his yeah. own, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this year would be the year to go, though, because there's probably not going to be the crowd. That's true, yeah. And then, did you hear about Lewis Capaldi? What's no. happening there? Oh, okay, so he played at, um, this will be such old news for people listening by the time it, this episode comes out but um he played at glaston glastonbury how do you say that with an australian accent glastonbury the, you know the big festival Glaston- glastonbury yeah sure that um okay <laughs> i always think like like you hear people it's b-u-r-y i just don't know how to say it with an Brie. australian accent you always hear like people say it in like a in glastonbury a, yeah sure Okay. Anyway, um, he played at that and he's had like three weeks off. You know how he has Tourette's? Oh, yeah. And apparently it like flares up when he's really tired. Right. So there's been all these videos of him like um, having like issues with his Tourette's on stage the last few months because like he's been on tour for like a year. Right. Um, anyway, he took three weeks off and then he played this show, which is like this huge festival. Um and he was like talking to everyone he was like I've just had three weeks off like um and kind of opened up about his mental health and was saying that like he's in a really bad place and like if he doesn't start looking after himself he's gonna have to quit music and like yeah. all this stuff and he was like I need to take some more time off you might not see me for the rest of the year so it looks like he's gonna pull out a splendor oh, damn and all these people in the splendor page on Facebook are like complaining because they're like oh he's the one person I wanted to see yeah yada, yada, yada. and that's why you can't buy a festival ticket for one person mm. you just can't anyway um, but it's sad. It's like, and you see these videos of him having like yeah. meltdowns on stage. Oh, poor and thing. Like, yeah, it's horrible. Um, anyway, but yeah, I don't think there'll be many people at Splendor. And like, I think they've upped the price of tickets this year. Probably. Apparently it's like 200 and something dollars for a single day <gasps> ticket. It used oh to be God. 175 or something. Yeah. Um, they probably have like heaps of lawsuits from last year that they probably have to pay. That they've got to pay off. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you're going, let us know how it is. I think like when it, happens like if there are people i know going i'm probably gonna have fomo because this is like the first year in like five years i haven't been yeah 
also like my friends aren't here so this is true you know, it wouldn't be as much fun anyway <laughs> um yeah anything else to add to that not really not really maybe we'll just jump into the episode yeah um we're going back to our roots today mm-hmm with That's is he hot or is he just? Yes, part three. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, I don't actually know if I have any it's in my been brain. A long but time with you. So if you haven't heard this, then you live under a rock, and basically we're just like, the, You'll get the, it. it's in the it's in the name of it. Yeah. Is he it hot or is he just? Let maybe let's start with some that we've done before. Okay, yeah, sure. So the audience understands, and so that we get the ball rolling yeah. okay okay gotcha. so is he hot or is he just tall yeah yeah is he hot or is he just funny is he hot or does he just play sport yes yes these are the vibes is yes. he hot or does he just surf yes all righty let's get the juices flowing okay um is he hot or is he just your age at the airport mm, yeah <laughs> I think we've done this, but is he hot or is he just a bartender? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because they're sober. Yeah, and they're like behind the bar. They're a bit yeah. unreachable. Yeah. Is he hot or is he just well-dressed? Mm. Is he hot or is he just wealthy? Mm. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking good one. <laughs> um, uh, is he hot or does he just have a high-profile job? Oh, Okay. Is he hot or does he just own a water transport device thing, i.e. jet ski? Oh, okay. I was thinking water boat. bottle. I was like, that's a no, weird no, 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 no. <laughs> like, like, like a boat, yeah. a jet ski. Yeah. What else goes in the water, you know? Yeah. Even a kayak. Yeah. Take me out on the kayak. Yeah. You know? Oh, similarly to that. Now, this is pretty rare in this day and age, but is he hot or is he, does he just own property? Oh, yeah. Does he have, like, like a real estate? Up, yeah. Yeah, he's got an investment property. Yeah. Yeah. Is he hot or does he actually just have photos of himself on Instagram? Mm. You know? Is he fish free on Instagram? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Is he hot or does he know how to cook? Mm, mm-hmm. mm. Good one. Is he hot or does he just have cool tats? Mm, you like the tats? Mm. Only like specific styles. Yeah. Like I like those like like patchy. You yeah, know like what I mean? it's a sleeve, but the they're sleeve. not all connected. Yeah. It's a yeah patchwork. Is he hot or is it just his haircut? <laughs> this is a solid. This is science. I right cut Connor's hair. <laughs> oh yeah, just your hair the day day before, and I did it a little short. <laughs> I went to Abby's and he was so <laughs> worried about his... It looked fine. I didn't notice. I think it looks... Yeah, I think it looks fine. And he just washed it. So, it was right. like tight curls. Yeah. Anyway. And then like apparently all of his friends were like giving him shit for it. And I was like, what? I think I did a good job. I may have done it a little bit short. No, but it suits him. He it's not it like... to be short yeah. in Europe. And now he thinks that subconsciously I sabotaged him so that girls wouldn't hit <laughs> on him in Europe. <laughs> That's not a bad plan. Yeah, I know. Honest. But no, I feel like it suits him. It's a different hair, like it's a different style. Yeah. Than well, I just chopped the same amount off the whole way around, but mm. I think I should have left some like near the ears because right. now it's like borderline mullety. It is a little mullety. Because it's like, it's like um, short around the ears, but mm. still long everywhere else. Mm. Um, my bad. I'm not a hairdresser. I never claimed to be one. <laughs> He just wants a free cut, yeah. you know? Well, that's what you get. Yeah, exactly. You get what you get, you don't get upset. Exactly. Because a haircut is very make or break. Yeah. Is he hot or is he just good with kids? Yeah, I was thinking that actually. Mm. Is he hot or does he just wear a watch? I get it. Yeah, because like, I want to know what the time is. Yeah. And, like, if you tell me, I'm like, wow, you've, like, answered my prayers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I feel that. Yeah. Or, like, some cheeky man jewellery. I was just about to say, is he yeah. hot or is he just wearing rings? Rings. Those or like even, like, ones? I kind of like a – I saw this photo of, like, a, a – dainty is probably the wrong word, but it was, like, a bracelet. Mm. And it was, like, silver and it was really thin. And yeah, I was nice. like, oh, that's quite cool. Yeah. For a boy. Mm. Yeah. I like a boy who wears some jewelry. Some bling bling. Bling bling. Yeah. Yep, I agree with that. 
Is he hot or can he just play an instrument? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Mm. What's the word I'm looking for? Seduce me. Seduce. Is he hot or does he just have sisters? Or a sister, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. When you find out that they've got a sister, you're like, ooh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I was going to say similarly. It's not super similar, but is he hot or does he just have a dog? Like pedos? Ah, yes. (laughs) Not quite similar. Pedos? (laughs) What? (laughs) Pet owners. Oh, girl, you said pedo. I said you were like, yeah, 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 pedos. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I, I fully thought you said pedos. Oh, that's so funny. Um. <clears throat> okay. Do you have any others? Uh, um. I think I think we've we've done pretty well there. Yeah. Do you think? I do too. Yeah. Um. All right. Beautiful. Equal to. <laughs> Ick or tick. Ick or tick is a segment where you guys send in something that your situationship or partner or whatever has said or done mm. and we decide if it is an ick or a tick. Mm-hmm. But when we say you guys send in, that's like, that's the aim. But like, <laughs> but like right now I don't know. You guys got to send it in to be featured on the pod. Yeah. Okay. No, to be fair, it's like we haven't been like asking for it in the last month a little or so. Bit. So that might be why. When he wears... Thongs. Sorry, my brain was still in is he hot or is he just mode? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, I'm not into the thongs. No, me neither. But what if it's like like he like a shower shoe? Your camp. The only time thongs are acceptable is you're camping and you wear them in the shower, I think. Mm. Every other purpose, wear a pair of boots. Yesterday I was at work and my manager came in but it was his day off mm. and so he was in normal clothes i didn't recognize him and i because the first thing i looked at was his feet because mm. he's wearing these thongs and he's got these big gross dogs how you get off it Yuck. and then i was like ew and then i looked up and it was my manager and i was like oh, oh my. you'll never be able to look at him the same I you'll know. just picture the dogs the dogs yeah no i don't like it um i like burks yeah or a croc mm-hmm. um but I can't do a thong. Yeah. Yeah. Not for me. But that's an ick. That's an ick. In my opinion. Me too. He has neat handwriting. I feel like that's for girls. <laughs> oh, true. Like, because I was going to say. girls only. Yeah, because it crossed my mind in the is he hot or is he just. And then I thought about it. I was like, actually, no, no it's that's. Not, it's not no. hot. No. Yeah. But it annoys me when you actually can't read it. Yeah, no. It has to be legible, but yeah. not like pretty. Mm. That's for girls. Yeah, like he can't care about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's an ick, I think, when they have neat handwriting. Yeah. Cool. Should we do shit we don't understand? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Um, this week, I'm guessing how does boiling water kill bacteria oh okay i like that like how why does it have to be a hundred specifically and then like how does the bacteria just die Hmm. okay first guess is it just that it gets so hot that it literally implodes or explodes and then it's no longer a thing like the bacteria you're on the right track it doesn't implode or explode But you're on the right track. And what is it? Actually, let's start there. The bacteria. Okay, yes. Um. Because now it's all under a microscope, it's all moving around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're on the right track. Implode egg. Does it just die, but it's still there? Um... Like, is it, does it get broken up into bits? Ha. Ah, okay. And it's just, but you're still drinking it. Wait, what bacteria are you drinking? Like, like what? So say it's like dirty lake water yeah. and you got to boil it so you can drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay, yeah. So it says. So the heat breaks the bacteria apart. Yes. It says it damages structural components. Um, because 
Well, I think you've pretty much got it. Okay, yeah. Um, because bacteria is is a living organism. Yeah. Right? So it says it disrupts essential life processes. Um, it's not sterilization. It's more accurately ca- categorized as pasteurization. So yeah, it doesn't like fully get rid of the bacteria. Right. It just like kills it, like breaks it down so that it can't. So keep it's not living. alive. Yeah. Um. So I guess like those bits are still there, but I suppose they aren't as bad well it's not a problem you. because they're not yeah because alive, they're not alive and they alive. won't breed in your stomach and yeah. cause give you a worm yeah yeah that's pretty much it damn mm. that was a good one well yeah that was good mm. i learned something and it wasn't through yeah radioactive frequency waves exactly uh question of the podcast yes uh question of the podcast today is what are some songs that you would never play at a wedding mm the first one that comes to mind is Fuck you Fuck you very, very much Um, yeah Wouldn't want to have that one No, it might kill the vibe a little A little bit Um, here's another one In the arms <laughs> of an angel Yes, perhaps not quite the right vibe either. Yeah, that's a bit sad for yeah. a wedding Yeah Um, what else we got? Um, similar vibe all around me are familiar faces. Oh, what about this one? Somebody that she used Oh, God. To no, know. don't play that at any I event. I swear to God, <laughs> that fucking song, it haunts me. Okay. And it keeps resurfacing on TikTok. Y- yes. Like, And then like an instrumental version of it is like a trend in the background. I'm like, understand. what the hell? And like, that's the only song that they've ever had big, right? Or have they been on this? I don't even know if they're a thing. <sighs> oh, dear. Yeah. I feel like all your classic breakup songs. Still alive, but I'm barely breathing. Yeah. Probably like not not correct choices. Yeah. Or even like, like, ah, oh, way to hell. Yeah. Shit like that aren't yeah. really the vibe. Probably not. I was thinking like, what about to the window, <laughs> to the wall? But I'd like to get down to yeah, that. Yeah, no, I feel like I could play that at down my you know absolutely get down to that other at my wedding yeah how do we feel about wop i bet that's been played at weddings all right so here's the thing with wop is um if it's my wedding Mm -hmm. no one can now dance me that's true because then it's gonna be about them and it's about me it's my one night a year where it can be about me always um and so I would have to be the one in the split. Yeah. But I don't know if I could do that in my white dress. That's true. But if it's someone else's wedding, I'm going to get down to it and ruin yeah. their... No, <laughs> I'm not going to ruin their wedding. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah. But the bride might. Yeah. So I feel like what might be off, off the table. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I was about to say something. Oh, I see all these TikToks of... um, It's like... POV, the bride and her friends are professional dancers. And it's like... And they do and dance? But the dancers are awful. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they're cheerleaders Not the dancers, something. the the dancers, the choreography yeah. is like awful. I saw one the other day to um, spice up your life. Uh, spice up your... And it was like tragic. I was like, I can think of nothing worse. And they're all like smiling like it's in a stud fit. Yeah. I was like, babe, take a night off. I, <laughs> I really don't want like coming as me being a professional dancer i don't want to dance like that at my wedding yeah you know like i don't want i had to have like the groom sit down and then like the bridesmaids and i do a dance like what the fuck or like even this might be funny like i kind of find the ones funny where it's like when it's your first dance with the groom and you guys are doing a nice one and then the music switches and then you guys do a routine that's what i was gonna say that's funny um, that, maddie pete did that right and hers was so funny because yeah. obviously her husband's not a yes dancer. so that would be funny and then because and they did chewies <laughs> <laughs> and your husband can lift you and do that yeah. things i think that would be fine but like the whole routine or sometimes it's reverse roles where the boy is kind of like not a stripper but they're a boy dancer and then they all come out doing magic mic shit yeah and i'm like not at the wedding no you have other nights to like do it at the audition. bachelorette party. Yeah, but like because yeah. that's what it feels like. It's like you're showing everyone. It's an audition for everyone. Yeah, you know. But it's like put it away. I like, know. <laughs> this is not the time. Um. Okay. Yes. Songs you wouldn't play at a wedding. Um. Yeah. So um, pony. Yeah. 
just in case someone starts grinding on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the song um, that they used to horny. use? Yeah, but remember there was that trend on Vine years ago where boys would like hump the floor. They would do the worm and then hump the floor and it was like this huge thing. I remember that. <laughs> By the way, can we just unpack that for a second? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, and it was like seven seconds, yeah. But w- was it take it down? Oh, oh yeah. I think it I was. think it might have been that Chris Brown song. Yeah. But yeah, they'd do a handstand and then worm yeah. down. And girls would go like crazy. I remember being at school and people were like, oh my God, Cameron Dallas did it. Cameron <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> and I remember always being like, that's so weird. Like who's filming it? And Ash Greer, he has a kid. I think they have two now. Yeah, I saw it. You know, Keen from Keen and JC, he's going to be a dad. <gasps> His girlfriend's Who's pregnant. Mom? He has a partner. Right. Interesting. Um, I remember seeing one once. It was like these two twins and their mum walks in. And he's like, what are you doing? God, that's so disgusting. Yeah. What a time to be alive. I know. Well, shorter episode today, but I think that's just about all we have for you. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, out of practice and got nothing to say. (laughs) Out of words. Um, But we hope you've all been well. Mm -hmm. Uh, We've got one more episode coming out after this, and then Abby's going to tell us all about Europe. Yes. And I'm just going to sit back and chillax and drink my coffee and soak it I in. I know. It's going to be nice It'll for be like you. a holiday. Yeah. I'm going to be working. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you buy our merch. Mm-hmm. It's uh, probably still cold by the time this comes out. Yeah, but we have t-shirts too. Yeah. Going into summer. Uh, and stay sexy. Follow us on TikTok. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Instagram, our personal Instagrams, all that business. And keep thriving, besties. Mm-hmm. Bye, besties, and stay sexy. This is the AA meeting. Welcome to our podcast. Fuck. I said the. Oh.